Last time, we were able to spin up the Nissan Leaf electric motor. I tried powering it from the Nissan Leaf batteries that were in my electric motorcycle, but it turned out I just didn't have high enough voltage and I got that rapidly flashing LED indicating an error. So I powered it off of 240 volt AC power, then run through a bridge rectifier to convert it to DC to run to the DC inputs on the inverter. But among other things, it also meant that I didn't have regenerative braking. What I really needed was higher voltage DC, a bigger battery pack. And then I recalled that I did still have a few more of those Nissan Leaf cells in my wheelie tractor. This was a old 1970s GE electric tractor but just just junk and I actually uh, kind of modified it for something called the junk parade uh, this is actually where the electric motor I originally used in the Geo Metro ended up and down under this motor controller which is the one I originally had in my electric Kawasaki down underneath here are six more Nissan Leaf cells so what I had to do was uh, disconnect the motor controller get everything else out of the way and then I was able to pull these leaf cells out of the tractor. Now looking at them, I, I get uh, more voltage. With that extra six cells, I can connect those in series with the 18 that are already in my electric motorcycle. From there, I should be able to get a higher voltage and hopefully that's gonna be enough to spin the electric motor. I've been working my voltage down and I'm down to 150 volts DC. And now if we turn on our Thunderstruck Motors VCU, there we go, error message. And if we try spinning the motor, nothing. Voltage too low at 150 volts. So let's try again now. We're at uh, almost 158 volts. Okay, 158 volts works. Let's twist the throttle. Hundred and fifty eight volts runs this and hundred and fifty does not, so I'm guessing it's a one hundred fifty six volt system minimum. So the Nissan Leaf motor is now running on battery power, but it looks like I still need to do a little bit of work configuring the throttle and properly setting up the regenerative braking, which I think is what we're going to show in the video next time, uh, just how to actually uh, program and get some of those things set up. I hope you like these videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, tell all your friends, come on over to 300mpg.org and check us out on Patreon. We would love your support there. And until next time, stay charged up.